For this exercise, we are going to use a word processor, in this case, Google Docs, as a tool for sentence combining. Imagine that you have already given your student some instruction in sentence combining, so they know essentially what you are expecting them to do. In this case, there would be three sentences, and you would ask students to go through the process of revising and recomposing the sentences in different order so that they could make meaning come alive in different ways. Now let's imagine we play this process in reverse. Using the button for undo, or on my keyboard, which is Command Z, or Control Z on the PC, I'm simply undoing everything that has happened over the last few moments when I combined these sentences. Now, what I'd like to do is think about this metacognitively. As a student, I would be reflecting on the process and what I did exactly. So again, Let's shift into student mode. All right, so I'm going to use the redo function to show how I move things around in my sentences. First thing I did was that I stretched out um, this sentence, the boy hit the ball, and I added bat, but I knew I had to change using. So I added that in there. The second thing I decided to do was move this in to um, setting in a phrase off setting a phrase off by commas and so I'd have to change the end of the sentence to put the punctuation in the right place. I also wanted to include this idea of getting it over the fence and so I decided to put that uh, prepositional phrase at the very end. The other thing I could think about is moving um, the ball into the subject position of the sentence. And so I restarted by saying the ball flew, and then of course, where did it fly? It had to go over the fence. How did it get there? I knew that the boy had to do something and that he had to use the bat in order to hit it. So I changed um, by putting it in there as a pronoun for the ball, and then I also had to change the capital T from the beginning of the original sentence. The interesting thing with sentence combining, of course, is that there's no one right answer. So you can see here that I've created three different uh, forms of the sentence. The ball flew over the fence after the boy, using a bat, hit it. Or to put the boy in the subject position, the boy, using a bat, made the ball fly over the fence. Or to even think about how to creatively and strategically use sentence fragments, we could try something like this the boy, a bat, a ball. One hit, another flew. So hopefully by thinking about how sentence combining can work with technology, you can invite your students to become creative and critical composers of very effective sentences.